Hey guys, Asa here with Cleaning Royale of Boise, Idaho. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the uh, resin in a DI tank. For this video, so that you can see everything that I'm doing, uh, I'm going to be wearing a GoPro head mount. And because this is what all the cool guys are wearing. Alright, so the first thing you got here is your DI tank, obviously. And uh, first thing we're going to do is just unscrew the top like so. I'm not going to worry about changing the filter this time. Just the resin inside. So you can see what that kind of looks like in there. I'm going to take the, if I can grab it, the tube out. Alright, so we got all the old resin down inside there. And first thing I'm going to do is just drain off the excess water. Alright, so we got most of the water drained out there. Now we're just going to take this plastic bag and just pour the resin in the bag. All right, so as you can see, we have most of the resin in the plastic bag here. Looks kind of like brown sugar. And we're just gonna bag that up and throw it in the trash can. And then as you can see, there's still some resin down inside there, so we're gonna have to rinse all that out. All right, so you can see we have it all cleaned up in there. Everything's looking pretty good. So now we're just gonna take our resin. And on my resin bags, just to, just to calculate the progress, I always put the date of the last time I changed it out. So in this instant, I changed it out July 16th, and today is September 17th. So uh, this lasted, this tank here, uh, this fill up of resin lasted over two months. Uh, and that's, uh, that's pretty good. So I got, well, I got three uses out of this bag. I got three refills for this out of this bag. All right, now here's a trick um, for filling this up faster. You could either use a spoon, uh, which I did the first couple times. It takes a really long time. Or you can take a, um, a narrow bottle that fits the opening of the tank and cut it off and make it a little shovel. I actually uh, got this tip from another YouTuber. And it's going to make it... 10 times as fast, I think, to fill, well, let's see, <laughs> to fill this up. Better than using the little spoon. All right, so that was way faster than a spoon or even a funnel. It's really hard to get this resin through a funnel. All right, so you're probably wondering, um, how, many, uh, how much resin do I put in here? And the answer is about, fill, fill it up about three quarters of the way. Um, that it'll fill it up good but still allow room for uh, the, the, the funnel to be down in there and allow room for the water to actually mix and come out. If you pack it too tight with resin, you're not going to have any room for water. So the next step now is to uh, pour some water down in there uh, because it's very difficult to get this down in there dry. You can do the first few inches and then you're you're hammering it in to try to get it down in there. So I just filled up this vase with water so I get it all done at once and use the cleanest water you can because obviously if you put uh, dirty water down in there I mean dirty I mean like if you're putting 250 parts per million water down in there that's gonna take away from your resin right off the bat all right so that's down in there and the last thing to do is to take your cloth and make sure the uh the tracks where you screw in are all clear of of um of resin so that you're not you know it's not losing suction from it make sure the seal is still looking good nothing on it and we're just gonna screw it in. 
And that's all there is to it, changing the resin on your DI tank.